All right, so today um, I'm going to show you an error that you might end up having with uh, exporting files, uh, executable jars from Eclipse. Right here, I've got something that I exported, and I keep getting this error. A JNI error has occurred. Please check your installation and try again. And then I get this a Java exception has occurred. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the common errors. Um, so one solution that you might see is you need to run it from the command line. So if we try to go command prompt, and uh, I'll show you a pretty easy way to figure out where your file is at and what you have to do. So I saved mine on my desktop to make it easier to find. So if I go to properties here, I can see the exact location of the file. And I can just go here and change the directory by CD and change it to that exact location. And then once I do that, I can simply say Java jar and then call the file, which in this case is example.jar. And then when you see when I run it, uh, it gives me the JNI error has occurred. Please check your installation and try again. Uh, exception to thread main, blah, 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 unsupported class version. And that's kind of the issue. Um, so it's saying I compiled it with a more recent version than what I'm running. Well, okay, then what version am I running? So if I type in Java slash version, it'll show what version I'm running. And right now I'm running what is currently the most updated JRE version, um, which is 1.80261. All right, so uh, that's a little bit puzzling at first. You might think, like, how could it be not supported? Um, but uh, real quick, if I go to Eclipse, I notice that my JRE system library is 14. So there's no JRE for this, uh, but the run, but the uh, SE is 14. So the easiest way to fix this particular error is just go to your project, go to build path, configure your build path. And if you look at your library here, you can edit that and simply change it if you have the JREs installed to, in my case, 1.8. If you're running something older than 1.8, you would obviously select that older version. But I'm going to go ahead and click that and click Finish, Apply and Close. Now it does verify 1.8 right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this old version because that was compiled in 14. And I will go back to here, make sure that's 1.8 all that fun stuff. So I've got my project uh, folder selected here. I will go to exports and I will pick a runnable jar file. Go to next. And when you do this, make sure you take a look. Now the code to all of this will be linked underneath the description of this video. So you'll be able to get the code and kind of try it yourself. Um, Cause it actually has two classes, donate example and board. Um, donate example is the main class board is, um, a class that just runs the J frame. I'm running swing right now. Um, anyhow, so, uh, make sure you uh, have the right selections that you see on the screen here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And then if I look back, I'll see this thing is back here. And if I double click on it, it'll run the code. So everything works now that error is now gone. Um, so you should be able to have an actual executable. I could share this with people as long as they're running JRE 1.8. This will work just fine on, on their computers as well. So that's how you fix it. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below, um, and I'll try to help you out if I can, or hopefully the community will help you out. And uh, hopefully this fixes your issue.